So please tell me uh, who you are and why we're here today. I'm Annette Gemmell, I'm GP, Chair of Bucks Primary Care Collaborative, BPCC. I want to talk today to our member practices about the consultation process which we're currently undergoing to decide on one CCG across the whole of Buckinghamshire or two CCGs. So why is this change different to all the other changes we've had in the NHS? This change is different to previous changes because this is actually giving accountability and responsibility and power to the clinical voice and empowerment to patients to inform that uh, clinical voice through their experiences in, in the NHS. We've, we've had a track record of um, practice-based commissioning and learning from PCTs and advising PCTs, but in many ways that was a hobby and this is now moving forward to the real deal of clinical commissioning where we're accountable for hundreds of million pa millions of pounds of taxpayers' money across Buckinghamshire. So why can't we just stay as BPCC? The reason we can't stay as BPCC is because as an accountable body, an NHS account, statutory accountable body, we will have to have branding and governance that, that, that fulfils those um, obligations that we will have to look after the hundreds of millions of pounds of taxpayers' money. BPCC is a company limited by shares and United Commissioning in the North is a limited liability partnership. These will not be able to be NHS branded statutory bodies. So in effect the status quo is not an option. There will be change whether we vote for one CCG or two across Buckinghamshire. They will be new organisations. This all seems a little rushed though. Uh, why are we in a hurry to vote now? It's a question that I'm frequently asked, why are we doing this so rapidly, why now, why can't we de de delay it? The reason is, um, in order to become authorised as early as possible, by October, uh, applying by October of this year, as our members have agreed that they want us to do, we have to build a track record in the new entity that we will be. So although we've gained experience over years, that's not the track record that we will be measured against in authorisation. So in order to have a few months of um, working in shadow form as the entity that we're applying as, as a CCG, we have to start it developing that form as soon as possible. So Annette, are you confident of the future? I'm very confident of the future. We can build on what, what's worked very well for us in the last few years. We've got strong localities, we've got practices who are very well engaged in those lo locality um, groups. and. We're going to bring forward the clinical voice, the patient voice, and we can really make this a change that is effective in Bucks to deliver high quality services, good outcomes for patients, good experience, the services we, we will commission. We want them to be um, caring, compassionate and affordable. So, moving forward to the immediate future of next week, read the consultation document inform yourselves, have discussions in practices and come armed with your, your comments and questions. There is no need to make up your mind at this point. The discussions will help to inform your decision and the actual voting on whether we go forward as one CCG or two will happen after the members meeting next week. There will be a week to decide. So read it, be informed, don't make your mind up yet, come and work together and the discussions will help you to make up your mind for what is best for the future, the long-term future of care in Buckinghamshire for our patients and citizens.